Now, let's go to interfaces. So let's say, for instance, that at the onset, there is no knowledge as to what attributes a class should have, but there is knowledge about how it should operate. And should an abstract class be constructed for this with methods only but no attributes at all? And since the behavior of operations differ from one would be child class to another, should all the methods be declared abstract? Now, to put this into perspective, let's take a look at a vehicle. But for now, what is an interface? So, by definition, a class that contains only abstract methods and or named constants. And how Java implements, this is how Java implements multiple inheritance. Okay, and this will be used to be able to handle a variety of events and that Java allows a class to implement more than one interface. Now, um, let's have here the NetBeans to put this interface into action. Let's try to create a project for an interface demo. Then, for the main class, let's have main at Java, then finish. And we have here interface demo. So, for example, we have to create a class for the vehicle. Then, vehicle so essentially a vehicle is a machine that brings people or objects from one place to another so they are transported through a vehicle so to speak so let's do the exercise we did with appliance when abstraction was introduced just think of a vehicle again no object comes in mind so because a vehicle can be any that travels on land water or air should the vehicle have wheels no we are not sure uh, because boats certainly do not have wheels uh, should a vehicle have propellers like the ones we found in choppers so a bicycle certainly does not what we do know is that a vehicle is any vehicle for that matter it moves and that before it's able to move it has to have energy that will make the movement possible so what fuels this vehicle to move from one place to another so the source of the energy maybe the oil the electricity or the battery the pedaling for the bicycles or etc so far we have identified two operations for our vehicle the move and the fuel so so the act of putting in the source of energy therefore um should an abstract class named vehicle be implemented and set these two operations to abstract so yes so we have to declare um this class as abstract since all of the methods will be declared as abstract Okay, public abstract class vehicle and what are the methods what the vehicle can do it can move and has the fuel so for the method to move okay um, move so it is abstract and another one the fuel mm -hmm. so these are the two uh, methods for the vehicle so and have say a class car inherit from vehicle so let us try to create another class oops 
new Java class, let us say, this car. So this car is the subclass of vehicle. So therefore, extends vehicle. Okay. So we have a red flag here. Um, right below the car class since we have not yet implemented the abstract methods of the superclass vehicle. Now, okay, since this is a subclass of vehicle, therefore we need to completely define uh, the abstract methods of vehicle. We have move and uh, if you will so we have here like car is moving at what speed Okay, so we need to have the argument here for the speed. Okay, then we have here speed. And then the other abstract method is, if you will, public void, you will. So uh, this fuel method will just print car is being pumped. By the way, this will receive an integer value for the amount. With... Then concatenate the value of the amount. Okay. Uh, like liters of gas. So whatever um, that the vehicle will receive or the car will receive gas or kerosene brothers so as what you have noticed programs written in any oop language are simply the interaction of objects and are modeled by sending messages to each other and objects send messages to each other via their public methods so it is these public methods that allow for the interaction of objects as they provide an interface as to how the interaction or communication between objects can be achieved. So there is a Java construct where grouping of related methods without having to define is allowed. And guess what? This kind of grouping does not allow instance variables. So the very attributes we need not define the vehicle problems we have. So there is called an interface. It is also a keyword to be used. So, an interface is somewhat like a class, but as mentioned earlier, cannot contain instance variables, just method signatures. So, as you can see, in our vehicle class, are only the method signatures of... Um, the vehicles okay um so this means that there is no need to define the methods very much like abstract methods so if we were to implement vehicle as an interface instead of an abstract class we define it as interface okay so by the way, we need to have, okay, um, 
the parameter here, speed and the amount here. Okay. So we have here. So since all of the members of this class are abstract, then we can define this one as interface. So let us say instead of abstract class, we are going to define it as interface. Okay. And interfaces in Java are implicitly abstract. So what this means is that instances of interfaces cannot be created. So let's try to okay, just comment out this one. Okay. And in the main class, let's try to create a, a vehicle like V is equal to new vehicle. So there is an error here. <clears throat> we cannot um, create instance objects of interface or interfaces so there is an error reported vehicle is abstract and therefore an instance is cannot be instantiated okay so there the, the instance of this vehicle cannot be created and take note that we did not define to vehicle to be abstract. Again, interfaces are implicitly abstract. And as a side, unlike abstract classes, interfaces cannot have constructors. Simply, interfaces are not classes. Okay? So we don't have constructors here. Try to create. A constructor for this. Okay, um, vehicle. Okay, so as you can see, there is a red flag, and when you hover this one, interface abstract methods cannot have body. Therefore, we cannot create constructors for our interface. And for our interfaces. So we are not allowed to define methods with bodies in interfaces. So the methods of an interface are inherently abstract as well. So these abstract methods, only the abstract methods are the members for our interfaces. So what this means that some other class should implement these methods when it inherits from the interface. The way subclasses are forced to define abstract methods of an abstract class. So for interfaces, though instead of using extends, the keyword used is implements. Every time an interface is defined, it is as if a contract is drafted. So the contract forces classes that implement interfaces to promise to implement all the methods. Now let's try the car method or the car class. Let's uncomment this one. So public class car, um, instead of using extends keyword, we have implements. Okay, and here we have to implement the move and the fuel methods. Now, a 
Okay. So, for example, um, although methods and interface were not explicitly defined as abstract, by default, they are inherently abstract. This forces a class that implements an interface to define all the methods. Now, um, just an important side note, of course, car can have its own attributes defined because it is a class and not an interface. So, so here, we cannot create instances of vehicle but only the car is equal to new car okay and interfaces are allowed to inherit from other instances or other interfaces as shown in the sample code like mm, for example Let's try to create new water vehicle. Okay. Finish. And this is an interface water vehicle which extends. vehicle and for example this contains the dock um, method signature say so water vehicles normally dock at a port so air vehicles land and land vehicles park Now, for example, in we have already the main class here, and to call the um, move and fuel. For example, amount is 100 and move for a speed of 50. Now to run, car is moving at 50 speed or at speed 50. So, and car is being pumped with 100 liters of gas. Now, okay, let's try the speed boat. Okay, and this speedboat, okay, let's try to create a new Java class, speedboat, and this speedboat implements a vehicle. I mean water vehicle. So, since water vehicle is an interface and there is a dock method signature, so the speedboat needs to uh, define the dock method. A void talk mm -hmm. let us say mm -hmm. speedboat is Talking.
I have here uh, speedboat is not abstract and does not override abstract method fuel in vehicle so this water vehicle implements water vehicle Vehicle public void dock mm -hmm. plus speed boat implements water vehicle. So speedboat is water vehicle, but water vehicle is a vehicle, and therefore speedboat is a vehicle so as well. So this means that speedboat should also implement move, brake, and fuel. By the way, there is um, brake also um, abstract uh, void brake here and to apply the brake vehicle need the uh, parameter here for the speed of the brake okay speed need to be braked and this one are uh, the brake that reduces speed of the movement by some kilometer measurement and These are all can be removed. Save. And since this implements vehicle, all of the methods like brake also um, needs to be implemented. Both vehicle you will then the brake uh, we need to remove this car delete safely and the speedboat that, uh, and doesn't override the methods break so we have mm, those methods mm, move Break. You will. The public class with both implements of their vehicle. Then we can create constructor here. 
speedboat. In the dock, speedboat is docking. Move, speedboat is moving up. Moving, then this one also. If you will, then this one also. Um, break this one we have the parameter um, the speed this one we have the amount for the fuel then here the speed that needs to be lower down okay so Okay, so as you can see, we have already um, vehicle, water vehicle, and speedboat, in which vehicle is an interface with move, fuel, and brake, and they are all method signatures. And this water vehicle is a vehicle, and this is an interface also, which extends vehicle. And it has its own method signature, the duck. And this speedboat is it's, uh, it's a class which implements water vehicle. So this speedboat can create a constructor of its own and also since this speedboat is a water vehicle, but water vehicle is a vehicle, and therefore, speedboat is a vehicle as well. So this means that speedboat should also implement move, brake, fuel. Okay, so classes can implement multiple interfaces. So let's say we have another interface called the air vehicle. So, we have here an air vehicle. Mm. So, this is another interface that we can implement from vehicle. So, this is an interface also which extends from vehicle. Okay. And this interface has its own mm, method signature, and this method signature is land. And now let's have a look at the seaplanes which have the capability of landing on water and dock at port. Also, we can say that based on our implementations of the different kinds of vehicles we have and how they behave so far, seaplanes are both a vehicle and an air vehicle. Okay, save, then let's have new java class and the c plane and this c plane is a class which implements this is a vehicle implements um water vehicle and air vehicle
So this seaplane implements or is a water vehicle and air vehicle at the same time since it can dock and land. And of course, since um, seaplane is also a vehicle, it should implement move, you will, and brake as well. So we can create um, the constructor seaplane. Then So what are the method signatures of water vehicle? So in water vehicle, it can dock and the air vehicle can land. Therefore, um, public void dock. Let's say, for example, speedboat is docking. is docking and the other one it can land like public void land let us say um, air vehicle is landing air Air vehicle is landing. And of course, the speed, amount, and I mean the move, fuel, and brake. For the move, fuel, and brake, we'll just copy it from here the speedboat we will just copy this one and put it here since it has the same implementation okay but we have to okay okay the same implementation methods from the speedboat okay since again seaplane is a vehicle also that needs to implement the move fuel and land okay without defining this move fuel and land you can get an error that seaplane is not abstract and does not override abstract method break so defining again seaplane to implement both water vehicle and air vehicle so requires that seaplane implement dock land and all the methods of the vehicle so this is multiple interface or multiple inheritance via interfaces so this is in contrast to extends where classes are allowed to extend from one class only. Okay, since implementing interfaces is a form of inheritance, polymorphism is observed as well. So just take a look at the seaplane. So it is a vehicle. A water vehicle and an air vehicle so we can have in the main class um we can create instances of c plane um like sp is equal to new c plane then water vehicle like water vehicle is equal to new water vehicle and then air vehicle like av is equal to new 
air vehicle. I mean, so we cannot do this for we cannot create instances for the for the interfaces, right? So instead of creating an instance of water vehicle, we need to create as a form of C plane. Okay? So creating water vehicle in a form of C plane. And an air vehicle as a form of C plane also. Since water vehicle are interfaces. Okay, same as with air vehicle. So we cannot create instances of water vehicle and air vehicle. And the vehicle hmm, like V is equal to new C plane. And we can call the methods for C plane speed dot land speed dot dot Uh, what else? The water vehicle. The duck. And the air vehicle. Uh, AV dot land. Dot land. And the vehicle dot move. With a speed of 100 kilometers, for example. So we can run the code. Okay. By invoking the following methods. So air vehicle is landing. Speedboat is docking. Speedboat is docking. Air vehicle is landing. And speedboat is docking. So this should look familiar. The same thing is done here as the display method of person and student in the inheritance in polymorphism.